Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to go through our last motivation theory, which is Locke's goal setting theory. So we've been through Maslow's theory, Hertzberg's theory, and now Locke. So they're the three that you need to know and you can be asked specifically about. Um, so this one's fairly straightforward, as the other ones are also, but, um, but there are a few things that you need to include in any answer that you give when you're talking about Locke's goal setting theory, if you're explaining how it works. So it is just that. It's just a, a goal setting theory and it involves um, some feedback. So essentially, these four points I think are really important to include in, it, in any answer. So what the theory is about, it's about challenging goals. So not just any goal, like any basic goal that, uh, that an employee can achieve easily. It's about, remember these are motivation theories. So in order to provide or to create motivation for the employee, the goals need to be challenging, but they can't be so challenging um, that they become overwhelming. That will um, cause the motivation to go away. So they need to be challenging. They need to be specific. So rather than just say, oh, improve our sales as a salesperson, they need to be specific. They, it's important that they're also set collaboratively. So the employee needs to have some real involvement in setting their own goals. It's not the, uh, the manager saying, right, I've got a goal for you, I want you to achieve this. It's the employee having a real say um, in the goals that they set for themselves. And sometimes they'll even be set on their own. But that collaboration is important so that the employee isn't just setting goals for themselves and it's not helping the organisation. So the manager needs to be there to ensure that the goals, yes, they, they are in line with what the organisation goals are, but the employee needs to have some real involvement so that it's something that they really want to achieve and that helps to provide motivation. Um, and the last thing is that positive feedback needs to be given along the journey. That in, allows employees to feel valued uh, which again provides motivation, so that positive reinforcement. And it may also be some help along the way on how to achieve uh, that particular goal. So let's go into an example. Um, here's Tom, he's a salesperson, and he averages $10,000 in sales per month. So if he was to meet with his sales manager, they would together collaboratively set goals, and the sales manager would be like, well, you know, we want to increase goals, but Tom's also keen, he's like, I want to um, you know, set new benchmarks, I want to make sure that um, I'm going to improve. So together they come up with a goal to increase sales to $18,000. Now, to be even more, so that's specific, but to be even more specific, you could put a time frame on that. You know, Within the next six months, this is the target that I want to hit. So this is just a basic goal that could happen for a salesperson. Then, Along the way, um, the sales manager gives positive reinforcement, you know, you're doing well, but also, even more importantly than that, could also give guidance on how they can go about achieving that goal um, and assisting them in any way. But it should be challenging and it needs to be specific. So let's see if it meets the criteria. Is it challenging? Well, he was making, ten, he was selling $10,000 worth of um, whatever it is that he's selling, and now 18,000, so that's quite a substantial jump. So yep, definitely that's challenging. So we give that a tick. Is it specific? Yes, it is, and as I said, it could be even more specific by giving it a time frame, but 18,000, it's not just saying, oh, we want to increase sales. That increase by a dollar, does that mean you're happy? So um, it needs to be specific, and in this case it is, so we give that a tick. Collaboration, yes, they decide it together, um, so they, so. Tom had a real say in what the goal was that he wanted. So we give that a tick. And finally, feedback. The manager is constantly giving positive feedback, positive reinforcement, and again, remember it's also about um, is it something, is he giving any assistance or you know helping Tom achieve his goal? So in this case, yes, and that's a tick. So they're, they're the four real things that I think you need to include. Um, if you're going to give an answer about Locke's theory. But that's what it's about. It's about challenging goals that are challenging but not overwhelming, specific, with positive feedback, and together the employee um, has some real say in what the actual goals are. So just so they're the four things there. Just to recap, challenging but not overwhelming, specific, set collaboratively, and given positive feedback. For more videos, practice sex, and more, go to teachingbubble.com.